My name is Christina Alcazar Deborah. Um, I'm 20 years old and my sponsor is Danny. My name is Claude Cahill, I'm 26 and my sponsor is Danny's Closet. My name is Marta Kamrowska, I am 18 years old. My sponsor is the Radisson Blue Hotel Spa Limerick. Hi, my name is Caelan Gown, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Limerick. My sponsor is Danny Shore. My name is Rebecca Enright, I'm 20 years old. My sponsor is the Fine Spine Boat Museum in County Limerick. My name is Chloe Lynch, I am 25 and my sponsor are Keynes Jewelers. My name is Emma, I am 20, I'm from Shannon and Keir's Closet and my sponsor. My name is Natalie O'Regan, I'm 25 years old and my sponsor is the Country Store. My name is Louisa Dempsey, I'm 21 and I'm from Midford, which is in County Cork, but I actually live on Border. My name is Kira O'Halloran, um, I'm 23 and my sponsor is Lucy Urge in Adair. My name is Danielle Lyons, I'm 25 and I'm from Broughton County, Limerick. My name is Neve Bateman, I'm 25 and I'm sponsored by The Sports Factory. My name is Catherine, I am 21 years old and I'm from Limerick. My name is Megan, I'm 22, I live in Arda Crusher. Um, my sponsor is PJ Flanagan Hurley's. I'm Claudia Daly, I'm 19, I'm from Croom and I'm a receptionist at the Woodlands House Hotel in Adair. I'm Katie, I'm 22, I'm back living in Ennis, I've been living there my whole life. Hi, I'm Joyce, I'm Ryan, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Limerick. <laughs> I was in Miss Ireland in 2017 um, and it was a great experience, loved it so much that I wanted to go back again. <laughs> um, I think the first time I wasn't really ready for it yet, um, my confidence was very very low and the idea of speaking in front of like a judging panel and being asked questions and being thrown random questions was really really daunting for me. So. It, like it definitely gave me a good experience to come and back and do it again. I suppose this year because uh, there was new organisers and everything like that, that I just had a whole new appeal to it this year. So I like I said, I'd entered it before, um, so I just kind of wanted another go at it under uh, new management. Um, it was definitely for myself, um, as well as like Miss Clare and Miss Limerick has been something that kind of we've heard about growing up um, with modelling as well. It's kind of something that you, you know all the older girls kind of went through. Um, so it was definitely something that I wanted to do. And being from Clare, I wanted to do it as Miss Clare and not Limerick. Um, 
So yeah, and it was just as I said, my to boost my confidence and being able to kind of speak and and like hold myself better. Yeah, I won the sports challenge, thank God, because I would have got slagged if I didn't. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, I think that's one thing people were expecting me to win now, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so I was delighted that got me through to the top 16, and then from there I got through to the top 8, so I was delighted. Yeah, it was very scary. Like, it was in front of so many people. Um, I kind of hadn't done anything like that before. Um, but it went well, yeah. I forgot the words, but I made them up, so it was fine. <laughs> we had to learn a dance routine. It was in a whole new, like it was in the Helix rather than the Crown Plaza, so it was a brand new stage, everything. So yeah, it was a really good setup. It was actually, I actually didn't look shocked when I look back in the videos, I didn't look shocked at all, but I think I remember turning to Christina and being like, what the hell just happened? But I just, I was really shocked and I think I didn't expect it that when it happened, I was kind of just smiling through it. Um, but yeah, I know it was, it was amazing. It kind of didn't register in my brain that he said my name for the first second. I was kind of just standing there and then, yeah, it was a massive shock. I was absolutely delighted. I didn't expect it at all. So yeah. The experience as a whole, like for myself, when I entered, it was to kind of boost my own confidence and and like from start to finish, I think my confidence my confidence has been like gone through the roof. As in, like even with like being able to speak, like public speak, being able to like stand on the helix and and like have a full like conversation with judges and with the audience and, and that was huge for me definitely yeah it has i was talking to the organizers of miss ireland and hopefully be getting something in the future with them i don't know really i definitely i'm going to finish out my um college course um i'm hoping to go to london next year for my co-op and hopefully I'll be able to do a bit of modelling on the side. Kind of trying to get back to normal. I'm on placement now back in college. Um, I'm going to finish that, but I, I hope to kind of do a few bits on the side as well. So we'll see. Yeah. Just go for it. Um, the friends you make and the experience is just so amazing. So I'd say just go for it and put everything into it. Uh, I'd say definitely, obviously, to go for it, mainly because You'll get a lot out of it that you don't think you're going to get out of it, uh, especially interview skills, which is going to help you in all aspects of life. And uh, anybody who's even done it before and is thinking about doing it again, just go and do it because you never know what's going to happen. Um, you could meet a new group of girls the second time around, even if you don't win it. It's the experience of the whole thing and the people you meet along the way. Um, I would say definitely do it if you're thinking about it. Um, like as I said, for myself, it has boosted my confidence um, so so much, and it's a huge experience for everything. You, like we've got to do fashion shows, um, some modelling. We got to, like it boosts your confidence on stage, your stage presence, um, public speaking, and it's it's kind of everything in one. So I would definitely recommend doing it. Yeah. Right. So last time we sat down here in 101 to do this was what May, yeah. and we were had like all our great plans about what we were going to do. Yeah, so let's go back to Miss Limerick first of all. Gosh, <sighs> it's, been a it's been a kind of a awesome couple of months, hasn't it? It has, yeah, God, like we, I suppose we worked hard, but we were also kind of lucky in ways. Um, like we had grand notions about all these things we were going to do, <laughs> but like in six weeks. I take offense to that. They're well, not, they're not notions. Huh? If we had more time, we'd have gotten all those things done. Well, we, we did get like, I suppose, what, what, what did we, we wanted to do the whole kind of um, make it like a socially active kind of thing, like with the profile videos and the headshots and stuff like that, and the newspapers and try and like make it something that like, like obviously we were very, very like, Jesus, we were extremely lucky with the three girls that we got, the yeah. winners. We were extremely lucky with all of the girls, yeah, to be fair, but because, like, I mean, they've, they've struck up a friendship with all of the girls that were involved in the competition, yeah, which is really great. Group. I mean, But we wanted all, all the girls who entered to get something out of it, not yeah. just the winners, do you yeah. know what I mean? So, like, I think through using social media, through doing, like, the videos and stuff like that, that, like, we got, like, made it an experience for anyone who wants to enter, like, not just the winners. Uh, but again, like I said, we were... And even more so, like if we if we to look forward and hopefully we'll get to do it next year and do a better job on That's it. All we're doing. I mean, <laughs> like we can increase the social participation and get yeah. them out doing events and stuff like that. And but we had like an idea to do like uh, like like the X Factor, as, as in like the the, the public yeah, have the a public vote. vote. Now that was very ambitious to do in six weeks. Yeah. But like with like lots of lead in time next year, that's not maybe unrealistic. Like we also we wanted to do like 
a live broadcast from the judges' room, which was grand until the judges were like, hang on a second now, like, yeah. I'm not saying anything. We can't deliver it, deliver yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. truly if we are. But okay. Um, and then, of course, our three winners, Miss Limerick, Kira O'Halloran, Miss Claire and Austin, and Miss Limerick North slash Miss 101, Christina Alcazar Deverell, uh, went on to Miss Ireland, which was just as we talked last Saturday. Yeah. Miss Claire, Emma, who was first runner-up. Limerick North, Christina was second runner up, and Kira, Miss Limerick, uh, was top eight, won the sports competition, and even though we can't say what, uh, has kind of gotten a job out of this. Uh, so, which is awesome. I mean, it was incredible. Um, but like, I'm not surprised. Like, they're three absolutely incredible people. I think it's a sure sign of where I've come from and all this, not having had anything to do with this kind of industry and on Saturday night when I couldn't make it to the Miss Ireland finals I'm flicking through uh, Instagram lives and trying to trying to refresh yeah. it quickly to see what I'm missing like that's, that's unheard of yeah. I'd only been doing that for sporting events previously so like, yeah. that, that's the interest it's drawn up but um, it did like and you know Emma's I see Emma's already popping up doing like charity events in Clare and stuff like that like Kira was born to be Miss Limerick as we said it's in her blood yeah. Uh, and Christina's a superstar. Yeah. Like the world yeah. is Christina's oyster. So looking forward to next year. Uh, we have the franchise. I don't know <laughs> if they, like we have the franchise. We're okay. doing it next okay. year. So well, like we'll um, we'll just try and make it bigger and better. And hopefully we'll um, we'll we be lucky enough to get some people as uh, incredible as the ones we have this year. So yeah, and let's 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 get it started early. I mean, for anyone out there that wants to enter or has thought about entering, yeah. the girls are open to the opportunity of. You know, talking to anyone about their yeah. experience. Drop um, a DM to the Miss Limerick official Instagram yeah, yeah. or just ask one email of us, you know. the uh, Miss Limerick official at hotmail.com. It's up on the um, up on the Instagram as well. So get in touch. It's never too early. We're already starting to plan for next year. So. Well done. Uh,